In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use blurb modules as footer items in Divi. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Next, you want to go ahead and download it. The next step now is to install it onto our website. Scroll all the way down here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. Next, I'm going to come over here to Portability, click on the Import tab. And now that file that we unzipped needs to be imported. So I'm going to click here and drag and drop it. Click on Import DV Theme Builder Template. Now that our template has been installed, the next step now is to go in and customize it. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. The area we're going to focus on is this area right here. So we need to go in and delete some of this information like that and also the top. And then I'm going to come over here and adjust our columns. So I'm going to click here on Change Column Structure and choose these two equal columns. Now that we have all this set, it's time now to go in and add our blurbs. So I'm going to uh, delete this one here and then click on this plus button and search for my blurb. I'm going to now select it. The next step now is to add my title. So I'm going to replace this with lorem ipsum. And this text here, we don't need for what we need to do today. Now we need to add an icon over here because by default, we have an image. Next, I'm going to click here on image and icon and select use icon. Here you can choose any icon you want, but I'm going to use the wrench. So I'm going to select it. So before we move on to the next step, it's important that we link this item. So I'm going to scroll down here, choose link, and then you want to add your link over here. For now, I'm just going to add a blank link. Next, we're going to come over here to the design tab and click on image and icon. So the very first thing we need to do here is to add our icon color. So I'm going to click here and add my color. Next, I'm going to come over here to icon placement. Ideally, I want it on my left. So I'm going to click on this drop down and choose left. Now let's set our icon sizes. I'm going to set this to 20 pixels. Next, we're going to come over here to our borders. So I'm going to set this to one pixel. And I'm also going to add my border color by clicking on add color and pasting my hexadecimal value in here. Now, as you can see, the icon doesn't look great. So we need to go in and give it some padding. I'm going to give this 10 pixels all around. All right, the icon has been designed. The next step now is to work on our title. So I'm going to come over here, change my title font. I'm going to select my font here. And we also need to give this a color. So I'm going to choose white. And now it's easier to read. All right, so the next step now is to head over here to spacing because we need to add some padding. So I'm going to select spacing and set 14 VH to the left. Now, when we take a look here at our text and our icon, everything is not in line. So let's head over here to advanced custom CSS and then choose the blurb title. Paste this CSS code. Now everything is centered. So all we have to do now is save. So to save us time redesigning this over and over again, we're going to duplicate this a few times. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do this about four times. Now all you have to do is to go to each and every blurb and change the icon and the text. So I've selected the second one here. Next, I'm going to change my text, go to my image and icon. I'm going to choose my icon. And finally, we need to come over here and add our link. All right, so go ahead and do this to the rest of the blurbs. Now let's take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.